Okay, cool. So let's zoom out. Let's go for our checklist. We've got our titles in. We've got all the videos in the order that we want them to be. We've got our transitions, all 0.5 of a second. All of our videos are four seconds. We've got our header, finisher in. Great. So now we can do some effects on these videos. So what we can start to do is uh, we can adjust the brightness. So if I just highlight one of these videos now, what you can see up the top here is this, this toolbar. So this allows me to play around with uh, different levels of colors. I can adjust brightness here. So if the video perhaps was shot somewhere a little bit too dark, you can always just brighten it up a little bit, bring some more color in. Now this is a cool little feature, so you can adjust. Say you was shot this from a little bit too far away, you might want to just perhaps make it a bit more focused. And then you can just adjust where you see that. Okay, so we're gonna keep this one as fixed. And I'll show you how that now looks. I've just edited that, if you have a look here. See now, it, I've made it a lot more close up. Okay, so I think this one's pretty close, but I'm going to apply a different feature to this. So if you shot all of your videos, um, say off of a stand or uh, or someone was holding it very still for you, and you wanted to give it a bit of a cool effect, you can use this Ken Burns effect. So I'm just going to select the one I want, and then I go up to this square, and it's got Ken Burns. If I click on Ken Burns, you've got a start and an end. So that's going to say that the duration of this clip, this four second clip, it's gonna start with this view and it's gonna slowly make its way over four seconds to this end view, okay? So I like the start there. So I'm just gonna position my box, my view, and I'm just gonna see how that looks. So I'm gonna click back to here. You can see it's just gonna zoom in. This gives it a bit of movement, makes it look a little bit more professional. You could do that to all of them if you want. I actually quite like doing that to every second one. So I have one which is quite still, and then one which has a bit of movement. So this one I'm gonna keep still now, the balancing cross lunge. But sprinter starts, I might wanna add the feature to that. So let's add Ken Burns to that. So my start's gonna be there. My head's kinda of going out of view a bit here. So let's like zoom into there and just see how that looks. Let's see if I like the look of that one. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so th these are sort of things you can do just to play around with it. Now this one, it's come from quite a long way out. This one's pretty good in its position, the hip thrusters, but this last one here with the crunch, I'm gonna do my Ken Burns effect again so that I've got it one on, one off. And my end position, I can come quite close on this one and even get a bit faster movement going. Let's see how that looks. Bring it back to this point on the timeline and click in play. Yep, that looks okay. So, let's click on pause. Now that we've got all that, I actually want to put some uh, exercise titles up. So I'm gonna go back to my title section up the top here, and I'm gonna add some scripts. So I'm gonna actually, you know, name these exercises. Now, you can do that with any of these. See how we've got this title coming across. Again, we know that if we plonk that over the top of this, you're gonna keep that background like you want and you're gonna have that script. But something to bear in mind is that when you've got like different colors uh, down this bottom area here or wherever you're gonna want your uh, actual exercise name and, and perhaps sets and reps to come up, you want to make sure that you're actually able to read it. So a good option here sometimes is to use one of these titles where it actually has like a black background automatically there. And it simply sits over the top, as you can see here. Now I don't want that description because it's just four seconds. So I'm just going to pop in row and I'm going to say I want it for three sets of 45 seconds. Okay, so let's see if I like the look of that. Click on play. 
row three sets of 45 seconds. Again, I can muck around with the font if I want to change that. I can change the color and I can use any of these. It's entirely up to you. Just have a play around with it and see what works best for you. So I'm just going to use this across all of them. So if I just now select this, press command and copy, go to where I want the next one to go, sitting on this, and press command V. Ooh, decided to make its way over there. That's because I must have had that click. And you can just do this for all of your exercises if you want. Okay, so now we've got those sat across over the top of each exercise. Great. So, again, have a play around with that. See if there's different ones that you like the look of, but this is what I quite like. It's nice, simple, easy to use. So now, at the moment, we've got uh, some audio. So these are all shot without any noise. You might actually have done a voiceover on the top of this which is great, you can keep that in. If you want to play around, I'm just going to zoom in a bit so this is easier to see. Where this line is going across here, you can see there's this little area here where there's sound. Now I don't want any sound on this because I'm actually going to use a bit of music over the top. So I'm just going to click on each of these and wait till I get those two little arrows pointing up, pointing down, and then drag that volume down until I've got 0%. So now this is completely audio-less, okay? Now you can add your music, or if you want, you can actually record uh, your voice if you wanted to do a, a you know, bit of speech about what each exercise is or areas where you might wanna concentrate on. You can do that. It's great if you wanna personalize a video as well for a particular client that you might know perhaps has a little bit of trouble maybe like keeping your shoulders down on the row for example or you know making sure you retract your shoulders uh, behind you things like that so I'm going to actually have a look up the top of audio and uh, we've got a bunch of different ones you can choose from if you go into music on the side here you can actually select uh, from your own music if you want to put something over the top now I've switched to Spotify a while ago, so I can't get my music. If I had iMusic, then I could bring that across onto here. But if you go into sound effects, then you've got like a couple of different things that you can use. And here, you can just hear what they sound like. And this is one that I, it's okay, it'll do the job. Okay, so I'll select it and then drag him down to the bottom here where my audio sits. Okay. So let's just zoom out a little bit. Now we can see that obviously that runs a lot longer than my video does at the moment. It runs for a minute and four seconds. So what I'm gonna do, let's just check we're in the right spot to start off. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna click on and trim him down. Oops, try again. Trim him down until we hit level with the end of our video. Now we can see where it's yellow and red, it's actually probably gonna distort a little bit if someone tries to listen to that. So I'm just gonna play with the level and bring it down a little. Click on there, so I'm back at the start of the video. And I just wanna see how this looks from start to finish now. So I'm gonna click on this double arrow here diagonal and it will show me how it looks in full screen. Seems okay. Ken Burns looks pretty good there with the style of movement. Don't worry if it looks a little bit jumpy when you're first watching it on here. It actually probably won't when you uh, move it across. It's just sometimes the first time you watch it, it can be a little bit jumpy. Stay strong, PD. Excellent. Just click on escape to come out of that now. So that's a very quick and easy way of making a video. I'm not sure how long that took. Probably somewhere in the region of about 20 minutes because I was talking through it. The quicker you get at this, the easier it will be. And you can just start to find the sort of style that you like. Guys, I hope this has helped. Um, what I'm gonna do next is actually show you how to um, save this now. So when I click out and go back into projects, it's gonna ask me to name it. So I'm just gonna call it TRX Video 
one. Okay, and that's gonna go in to my videos here. So what I'm gonna do, we can see I've got some other things here I've been editing with my man, uh, Erwin, and some other ones here. So now I wanna actually save this to file. So I'm gonna click on this little free dot thing here, click on share project, go to file, and now it's gonna allow me to actually save this video. Okay, I can actually look for it if I want here. I didn't realize you could do that. Click on next, and now that's gonna slowly, well, give me an option of what I wanna save it as. It's gonna save that, and that's gonna save that, in my case, to my iCloud, because it's gonna be a big file. So once you've made your video, you're gonna to wanna to upload it onto YouTube so that you can share it with people. So you go to your YouTube channel. Remember, uh, I gave you a link to a tutorial um, how to make a YouTube channel for beginners. 2020, that's a great way of showing you how to very quickly, uh, certainly within 10, 15 minutes, set up a YouTube channel. Now, what we're gonna do is create and add more, and we're gonna upload our video. And it's gonna take you through, and you're gonna press select file. You're gonna go to wherever it was. Uh, mine was in iCloud, but I've moved it to here. And I'm gonna open. Now, TRX video has come across. You can give it a different title if you want. If it was for a specific person, say TRX workout for Pete. Uh, hi, Pete. Now, we're going to want to say probably no, it's not made for kids. And we've got this link here that we can copy. So if I wanted to just share this with one person, then I could give them that link. And click on next. So it's going to say, if you want to make it public so that everybody can see this on your channel, then you would click public. If you want it to be uh, unlisted, that basically means that anyone with a video link can see your video. Uh, and then you've got private where only you and people you choose can see your video. So pretty self-explanatory however you want to do it I'm going to say unlisted now here is that link we can see that the video is now uploaded if you want to schedule it so that it comes out at a certain time or date then you can select that then once you hit save it's going to upload there we go fantastic and that's how it's done, guys. Easy to use. So now, at the moment, we've got uh, some audio. So these are all shot without any noise. You might actually have done a voiceover on the top of this, which is great. You can keep that in. If you want to play around, I'm just going to zoom in a bit so this is easier to see. Where this line is going across here, you can see there's this little area here where there's sound. Now, I don't want any sound on this because I'm actually going to use a bit of music over the top so I'm just going to click on each of these and wait till I get those two little arrows pointing up pointing down and then drag that volume down until I've got zero percent so now this is completely audio less okay now you can add your music or if you want, you can actually record uh, your voice if you wanted to do a, a you know, bit of speech about what each exercise is or areas where you might want to concentrate on. You can do that. It's great if you want to personalize a video.